we first moved here, we had a wooden deck with a rail that went around there and there, and there was no pergola, and this was all grass. And then... Um, and that was all RV parking. Yeah, that was Gravel. RV parking all the way down the side of the house, and there was railroad ties. What I like most about it is that there's like three different living areas. So we've got the completely covered patio area if it's raining or if it's really hot and you want pure shade. And then here it's kind of filtered sunlight and it's kind of open but not quite. And then over there it's just totally open. So you really get a lot more use out of the garden because depending on the weather, if it's really hot or really cold, you can go to these different areas and, and they work. I, um, I had indoor little train sets uh, when I was a kid, uh, building the HO scale, the most common scale, and N scale, which is even smaller. Uh, built a couple of those, but uh, I've always wanted to do an outdoor garden train. They're definitely a little more expensive to get into, and um, you obviously have to have a yard and a space to do it. So, um, buy a beautiful garden she's been cultivating for the last couple of years, and uh, when we decided to take the rest of the grass out, this area here that was grass, I thought, well, I'll start here with just one little loop train, like right, basically right there, and then uh, decided to carve a little path around the rest of the garden and uh, add, a, add another big loop. But now that we've kind of got a foundation down with these, the, you know, the loops around, I can always add on extra track going different directions. In fact, I plan to go to the front yard next, maybe next year. <laughs> you know, they have little figures, they have all kinds of other little details and models. You know, we've got just the one uh, building here in the windmill that I've built so far, but we'll have, be adding a few uh, cottages and things like that. I love things that smell good, so almost everything I've planted, I would say 80% of the plants I've planted are scented, even tulips and, you know, daffodils. If I would have known beforehand how much work I would have had to do to get it this way, I probably never would have started, but if you just yeah. start somewhere, go into it blindly and recklessly and just yeah. see what happens.